Welcome to another issue of Extreme Measuring. This time we're taking our Bode 100 onto a boat. With me is Florian and Tobias and behind us Captain Carsten, the captain of the boat, no relax. But the name is wrong because we're gonna have a cool time here. Well, what is Bode 100 doing on a sailboat? Well, we try to measure the wind speed using our vector network analyzer. For that we made a wind sensor and the wind sensor features two ultrasonic transducers. The transducers, a receiver and a transmitter send out an ultrasonic wave that is reflected on the top of the sen sensor and then catched up at the receiver. Here I tried to draw the waves but you can see they go up and down and the waves have to overcome a special distance between the two transducers and if the air in between the transducers is moving then the wave will travel faster and this will result in a phase shift that we can measure using our analyzer. In the meantime it started to rain a little bit. Um, now I'll explain the measurement setup. Uh, we have our Bode 100 in a backpack. It is battery powered. The output of the Bode 100 is connected to the transmitter and channel 2 is connected to the receiver, which you can see here. Um, the Bode 100 is directly connected to our measurement laptop and we have a second laptop where we can see the results. Okay, Toby, now the hard time starts. You'll be our sensor and then we're gonna check out the wind speed of this boat or the wind of the wind that is around the <laughs> boat or whatever. <laughs> okay. We have transformed Toby into a live wind measurement sensor. In his backpack he has the laptop which is communicating via desktop sharing software with a second computer which is inside the boat because we have rain outside here so we have to use it inside. And Florian is operating it and he can see the actual wind speed. Here we have a blue bar indicating the wind speed. Currently we have negative wind speed since Toby is holding the sensor in the wrong direction. <laughs> now, Toby has reversed the sensor and the wind speed has gone up. Hey Florian, can you please check if the results we get with our live wind sensor um, is matching the wind speed that we get on the instruments here? Well, if I compare it to the result of the instrument, it doesn't really match. We have a strange difference, but maybe it's caused due to the fact that the sensor of the boat is mounted on top of the mast and Toby is in the bottom. Well, in this case, we're gonna have to get our live sensor up the mast. Let's do that! Okay. Originally, I volunteered to go up the 18 meter mast, but somehow the captain and the crew refused, possibly because it's too hard work for them to pull me up. So we decided that Toby has the honor, and so we pull him up. Let's go. What? A lake with a marsh. Tommy, I have a lot of noise in the system. Yep. Do you have any idea why? Maybe it's the heartbeat of Toby. <laughs> Possibly, yeah. How many beats per minute? I don't know. 120. One, Three, four, it must be some some subharmonic oscillation of his heartbeat. Got it. Oh, he got the sensor out! Okay, tell me what's the wind doing up there? Ah, uh, it's not much. Not much? There is no wind. No wind. Currently no wind. Unfortunately the wind did disappear. So no, we have to keep... It. Now we have... So, this means we have to keep him up wind's there coming, wind's coming. until the wind comes back. Let's see, forecast says tomorrow there is a lot of wind. <laughs> okay, Toby, are you okay up there? I'm okay. Okay, so let's re relax and have a beer. Oh, there is a little bit of wind. I can see it. 
So maybe you show to the camera what you see, Florian. Yeah. We have now roughly minus 30 degree of wind. Unfortunately, I could not figure out the mass how to correlate that to wind speed. But <laughs> this is the next project. Our original plan was to have Toby up there with a very high wind speed in the storm. Unfortunately, the wind died down and so we will get Toby down as well. Well, this was another issue of extreme measuring. We brought our life sensor Toby safely back down to the ground of the boat and we are now ready for new challenges, so stay tuned. We'll be back.